Alright guys, how you doing? Alright, how you doing? It's been a fucking long time. And I think I've said that in every single career mode episode. Sorry I couldn't get a little intro in of me showing like what transfer activity is going on, but there's been literally none. Because guys, I've been, basically the transfer activity has been done now, the window's been finished, and that's it basically. So anyway, we did get a goal, Harris Vukic gets his debut goal. Mint! So yeah, anyway, and uh, of course Warnock puts in the ball here, oh yes, it, it was crap. But uh, yeah guys, I'm sorry uh, that it's been, uh, it's not been here career mode anyway, and um, yeah, I'm pretty, apol I apologise. It's just a fact, I just can't be arsed. It's plain and simple really, no other reason. I just, I can't be arsed doing career mode and, to be honest, I've just started to like FIFA. Just started to like it, I think it's been crap, that's why. And, yeah, I've just started to like it now because otherwise, um, I found it crap all this time. But, uh, Chris Dawson gets his debut goal, where an absolute cracker, and he was straight into the bottom corner. Beautiful, I say. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I was really happy with, uh, with, uh, Chris Dawson, especially in this game against Brighton and Hull of Albion. Because, in fact, he just... Didn't care. He just went all out attack in the midfield, and uh, that's what I think that's why we won it in this Capital One Cup game. We played a good, we played a very good game, and uh, very, very defensive. And we also attacked on the counter attack quite a bit. And, and this is when I just started to pick up, and uh, I think and this is when I just found it, this game quite, quite, sim quite a good game. I think this is the game when I found career mode. I quite enjoyed it, but uh, Ultimate Team is what I've been playing the most, guys. In case you haven't noticed, uh, especially if you have me out on the game, if you have my game attack, and that's the reason why I just prefer Ultimate Team in a minute. I just think it's a much, I just find it much better this year, and I, uh, the, I don't know why. And um, I seem to be better on Ultimate Team than I am on Career Mode. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm online, but uh, I don't even care anymore. But we've got a 2-0 win. I'm bloody pleased with that. I got a, and guys, I, anyway, I decided it is time to change the whole system. It was time to make this new system happen. You guys were suggesting it. And, uh, I mean, 4-3, I think we're playing 4-3-1-2, which is bloody shit formation. We don't want 4-3-1-2. We want a decent formation, a good formation, which will suit my personality. And I believe it will suit the team. So, anyway, I went with a 4-3-3 attack system. Of course, we have a McCormick any attacking role which is in that sort of attacking part of the midfield of course he's the main player the only good player we've really got I have to admit in a minute the only real standout player because Luke Barney is of course the best player I'm joking with you don't 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 take it seriously right anyway moving onwards and forwards we go into a first game first probably game of the of not the season but they well of this week anyway uh, anyway we're let's start off really brightly in the 16th minute playing over the top through the ball knockout knocks it home Really good, nice goal there in the 18th minute. And if anything, guys, in the future, uh, if we ever get in the Premier League, guys, if we ever get in the Premier League, I would love Anthony Knockout to be at the club. And uh, Varney showing his true capabilities there, hitting it wide. And yes, as you could see, guys, that was really Luke Varney at his finest. 45th minute, though, I'm, I'm seeking a bit of bullshit. And, of course, that is Aidan White slotting it home with a nice, lovely chip over the keeper, the former Leeds keeper, Casper Smeichel. And, of course, he shoots down all of his team. And, uh, guys, I just thought I'd put this little clip in. Five clean sheets. That is insane. That is real decent. But at halftime, it was 1-1 uh, with a bit of balls, of course, with a 45th minute goal. As, uh, yeah, anyway, 65th minute, we had a good chance there from Luke Varney. But, of course, Luke Varney doing, showing his true capabilities yet again of hitting it wide. Seems to be very good at that, this, uh, and especially in this game. And I did just decide to make a change, but it didn't make a single difference to the game. So, it was full-time at Leicester. And, of course, it was 1-1, which is impressive, to be honest, guys. 1-1 draw against Leicester is a decent draw because they have a bloody good side. But this wasn't good news. This wasn't good news at all. Ross McCormack, our best player, has now is now out for three weeks. So that means it's a pretty bad loss, I have to admit. But uh, it didn't really matter uh, because we had a new game. And, of course, it's against Bolton. Yeah. And, of course, I did play uh, a few a few little substitutes because a few of them went knackered after that Leicester game because they worked the absolute socks off. So Murphy gets a great chance here and uh, just misses the target by a small distance. Anyway, that was half-time. Yes, 0-0 half-time. Not many chances in that first half. But who really cares? Uh, because Murphy had a great chance to go in front, but of course he missed the target, right? Like an absolute complete balls up. Anyway, they got a great chance here, and the Chung Ong Lee hit, just has a great, great uh, free kick from a shot. But Paddy Kenny makes a fantastic save. Anyway, Polion gets through on goal here. 63rd minute, son. He has a crack, but uh, Bogdan uh, parries it. I don't know how he managed to parry that that way. But uh, it's just this game being so screwed up. And then White plays a lovely little through ball to Austin here. He, fit, he puts in a great ball, but what an absolute fantastic save from the gingerhead Bogdan. Anyway, and I believe that was 
full time, guys. Yes, nil nil yet again. Uh, we've got another clean sheet. Yep, a fucking P. Anyway, that was full time, guys. Nil nil. And uh, I really, really, really did not care any less. And uh, of course, we had a game against Bloody Barnsley. Ha! And I was like, oh, wow. Because I thought we were going to get, definitely get a win. Anyway, ninth minute, we started off very, very brightly, but Noah Hunt showing his. Wow. Well done, man. What the hell is wrong with these strikers, guys? Seriously, we can't finish off stiff. We may as well just poke his foot out and just hope for the best at the minute. Because honestly, look at that. What was that? I mean, I'm being serious there. That was Daniel Cairns, a new player. And that was it full time, guys. I mean, what the hell? This is absolutely dreadful. Nil nil at Barnsley. That is bloody awful, son. I know it's a big game and stuff with a rivalry, but I don't give a crap. We should have played better, and yeah, we should have been getting three points, but that was was not going to happen. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, guys, uh, as well, I'm going to be setting the target off for this episode, and uh, yeah, anyway, we've got Villa in the next game in the Capital One Cup, so we'll see how we're doing that, and, uh, but anyway, I'm going to set a target for you guys. If you guys manage to get, and I'm going to set this at a suitable target, 20 five likes i'll tell you what i'll get another episode out straight away so yeah see how you do guys uh, i'm gonna go get a shower and uh, uh wash my scrumptious little ball sacks and then i'll uh, catch you guys in the next video